we'll see. So a, a sort of a good rule of thumb in, in uh, companies that come in that haven't done a lot of uh, testing or have a lot of experience with carbon fiber. Carbon fiber in particular is a sort of a, a little bit of a treacherous design uh, exercise because carbon fiber is resistive. But uh, when you make carbon fiber structures, if you don't paint it, if you strike it with lightning and it's not painted, it'll do pretty well, actually, because of the energy, the lightning energy actually spreads out over the surface of the part. When you paint it with some sort of polyurethane or aircraft paint epoxy, whatever it is, what those paints and coatings tend to do is focus the energy into a very small area. That's one thing that carbon hmm. fiber and composites don't like is a lot of energy in a very small area. So what we do for composite airplanes um, in particular is we end up putting some metal foils or uh, in some cases what we call interwoven wires in the carbon fiber. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But essentially what we're trying to do is spread the energy out over a larger area. Now, this has sort of implications on the size of the airplane, right? So if I'm if I'm building a large, let's just call me company B, and I'm building a large uh transport aircraft that's going to hold 200 people, that aircraft's going to be fairly good size. So the, any sort of carbon fiber structure I design there, because the structure is big and weighty and massive, there's a lot of carbon fiber there. And from a lightning standpoint, it doesn't really matter all that much what kind of coatings are put on it because the structure is so thick. So the, the carbon fiber can handle it. When I build a small airplane, like a small uh, small jet, like a small business jet, like you see today, or some of these uh, uh, light transport things that are popping around, sort of self-guided uh, things that are going on, those are much lighter, thinner structures. I mean, maybe build out of carbon fiber typically. And the energy density is strong there. So because the, the structures are much, much thinner, any sort of coating you put on it has a lot to do with how much damage it takes. So when you see a big airplane get struck by lightning, you think, wow, that's, that's you know, a decent amount of damage. If you put that same amount of damage into a much lighter structure that's used on a smaller aircraft, it causes a much bigger damage area. 